In this video, we're going to provide you with the details to this guard pass. Hey everybody, welcome back. Matt McDonald, Balance Jiu Jitsu. I'm here today with Coach Marcia. We had a request to show some details on the knee slide pass. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any of the techniques that we're gonna provide for you on this channel. Otherwise, let's get into the knee slide pass. When I'm looking to engage in a guard pass, the first thing I wanna do is have my hips low and I wanna be on the balls of my feet. This is gonna be a quick entry, so if I'm on my heels, it's gonna slow me up. I also don't wanna be bending over at the waist. That's why I wanna have my hips down. So as I'm approaching, the first thing I'm gonna to look to do is grab onto their feet, migrate to the shins, and start to compress the heels to their hips. Once I've achieved that, I'm moving laterally and I'm gonna be looking to create an opening to step in between Marcia's legs and land myself on top of her leg, pinning it to the mat. My right arm is gonna be framing out her knee here. She wants to try and get a knee shield in on me. So the, what I'm looking to do here is trace this. So if I feel her trying to come inside, I'm moving my elbow and stopping her from being able to come outside and I'm creating a nice frame here to keep this space open. The next thing I'm gonna be looking to do is deal with the frames that she's gonna be offering. So they're gonna be pushing and framing on you to stop you to come through here. So the first thing I'm looking to do is get rid of this top frame. So I'm using a chin-up grip to pull down and then I'm moving into a C grip so that I can continue to control her arm as I lower my body. The next thing I'm looking to do here is bring my head in under her chin and drive her so that her back is on the floor. Once I've achieved that, I'm going to start to push her arm and look for the underhook here. Once I've secured the underhook, I'm looking for the overhook. And then I'm going to be looking to slide down her leg. And then before I turn myself into side control, I'm always going to be looking to walk their hips back, get my cross face and settle in a nice side control to finish. Let's take a look at this from a different angle. So hips low, heels off the floor. I'm on the balls of my feet for speed. I'm looking to compress her heels to her hips. Once I've achieved that, I'm moving laterally so that I can start to step in between her legs. As I'm stepping in between her legs, I'm going to be migrating my left hand to the inside of her knee and my right hand to her hip. My left hand is going to be pushing to pin her knee to the floor and my right hand, I'm using my right elbow to flare my elbow out and make a frame on her knee here. I know that as I drop down, she's going to be looking to insert her knee shield so that I can't come through and in some cases she might be looking to bring it over top and push on me here to see if she can't off balance me so she can create a little bit of space to recover her guard. So as I'm coming down, we're stepping in between her legs, I'm flaring this elbow, and then I'm tracing this leg. If I feel it coming down, I'm closing my elbow. If I feel her trying to come over top, I'm opening my elbow. I just, like I said before, I don't want her leg coming inside or over top. So once I've dropped down on Marcia, the next thing I'm gonna face are her frames, okay? First thing I wanna to look to do is chin up grip on this top frame. As I'm pulling this down, I'm gonna switch my grip to a C clamp as I lower my body with her arm. In a lot of cases, she's gonna be on her side. Okay, so I know I need to get her flat on her back, which is gonna help me achieve my pass. So as I'm dropping this down, I'm bringing my head in under her chin so that I can start to push and flatten her back out on the floor. Once her back's on the floor, I'm gonna be using this grip to start to push her arm so I can create this hole that's gonna allow me to get my underhook. Okay, so she's framing. I'm pulling this down. As I'm pulling this down, I'm switching my grip, lowering my head so that I can start to pin her back to the floor. And right here now is where I'm gonna push her arm and then start to insert my underhook. Once I've gotten my underhook, I'm gonna replace the top of my head with my shoulder so I can continue to pin her back to the floor. So I was here and now I'm gonna pin with my shoulder so that I can keep her back to the floor. The next thing I'm gonna to look to do is get an overhook on this arm and now I can start to slide my leg down her leg and then before I start to turn into my side control, I know if I have a good guard player here that it's going to be necessary that I start to look to rotate the hips and move her legs in the other direction which will open up a nice space for me right here. I can let go of my overhook, 
start to get my cross face and move myself into a proper side control with my feet alive. All right, let's take a look at this from the rear so you can see what I'm doing with my feet. So my hips are dropped. I'm on the balls of my feet. I compress her heels. I'm starting to move laterally and stepping in between her. And now this is what we want. As I'm dropping, if I can think about it, I want to point my toe here. I know in a lot of cases that Marcy is going to be looking to trap my foot with her leg. So if I keep my foot like dorsal flexed in this situation, it's going to be hard for me to slip my foot out. So I want to keep this pointed so that as I start the whole dealing with her frames, getting my underhook, and I start to slide, if my toe's pointed, it's going to be a lot easier for me to pull this out. Okay, once I've got my foot out, again, I don't want to start to turn here and give her the ability to get her guard down. All right, so super important that as I start to escape my hips out, I'm going to start to walk her hips back, redirect her legs, and now I can start to move myself into a proper side control with the cross face. My hand is posting and I have my feet alive. So we'll show you one more time in real time. All right, well there's one way to achieve the knee cut pass. Thanks so much to Mitch Glennon for the request. If you guys like the video, hit that like button, share the technique and comment because it really helps us to come up with content. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for coming everybody.